I just got back from Home Depot where I got a number of these lecture boards cut for our new uh, flip classroom training program that we're starting here very shortly. And I noticed something interesting. So last year when I bought these boards, these come in, I think, nine feet by four feet. And we get them cut down to this size. But in April 2011, so last year, I bought a bunch of these boards and they were $12.98 each. And today at Home Depot, the price has gone up. So in July 2012, uh, a sheet of this kind of board cost $13.88. So it's an increase of, what, 90 cents? And initially I was like, man, I can't believe it's more expensive. That That's not good. Uh, but then I got to thinking, well, that is really good because uh, usually an increase in price means an increase in demand. And I was thinking, well, maybe there are a lot of teachers going in buying boards for their flipped classroom, which is great. So the increase in 90 cents is just an indicator that more people are flipping their classroom, hopefully. And so the, the supply and demand, the economics of it, of these boards, may look something like this. So you have uh, our demand curve one. This is the, so P1 is our price to begin with. So $12.98, that was last year. And people were buying at this quantity before people started really flipping their classroom. Now, because so many, so many people went and bought these boards, the demand curve shifts to the right. So we get D2, which is our second demand curve. So more demand. Uh, demand is shifting to the right, and that gives us our second price here, our equilibrium price, which increases to 1388, and an increase in quantity, so quantity 2.